Here's a low cost fun gadget which allows you to learn great science. This is a pencil and you can see it's suspended in midair by the action of just magnetic forces and a little bit of force from this particular chip of CD here. So actually this whole configuration can be made at your home for free and you can use it to learn some great science. So what you can see here is actually a demonstration of what is known as magnetic levitation. Magnetic levitation is just that. You have magnets and they are suspending something in midair absolutely without touching the ground. And you may have heard of magnetic levitation in the context of super fast trains, right? So that is a dynamic magnetic levitation. Things are moving. In this case, you have a demonstration of what is known as static magnetic levitation. So static in the sense of this pencil is absolutely not moving, right? But still it is suspended by the help of magnetic forces. So now I'll get into a little more details of what goes into making this configuration, right? So first thing is you can see there's a pen or a pencil and there are two magnets on it, right? Two normal ring magnets and you can see that this is the other part which is a base and this base is just made of a sponge or some sort of board and you can put four magnets on this and the magnets have to be put properly which I'll explain in a few minutes. These are again ring magnets, normal ring magnets. So here is a close-up of this static magnetic levitation demonstration, right? A pencil suspended, absolutely suspended in midair against gravity just by the force of magnetism and a little bit of contribution from friction at this particular point here. What you can see here is that this particular configuration is so stable, so absolutely stable. It doesn't move if it is not moved. So it is absolutely dynamically stable. And secondly, it is absolutely torque balanced because it can rotate and it can almost rotate without any friction because the air is giving it very little friction, right? Now we should see why this configuration is so perfect and why is this pencil able to stand up against the force of gravity? It's not falling down, right? Now to go into that, you have to see what are the various forces acting on this pencil to keep it stable. Now you can see two types of stability here. One of the stability is that it is absolutely stable with respect to force balance. All the forces on this pencil are equally balanced so that this pencil can, does not move. Another thing which is stable about is its torque balance. So you see, if I, if I sort of give it small oscillations or even if I rotate it, it is rotating without pausing almost. So for example, you can see that because air does not give too much of resistance, this can actually go on for a very long time. And if I put a vacuum or something here, then you can really get, you know, get it to go on for very long. So what it is showing here is that not only the forces are balanced, but also the torques are balanced right and this comes into play because of the interplay of different kinds of forces over here you see that magnetic forces of attraction so this particular magnet in the front is attracted towards the front magnets that is very important because the forces have to attract for this configuration to be stable on the other hand you can see that this magnet repels the other two magnets in this case you have the force of magnetic repulsion. See, I cannot touch them. They are repelling, right? This is also equally important. So what is important in the configuration is that these two have to attract and these two have to repel. In fact, you can show by doing a sort of detailed theoretical analysis that if you do not make this attract and these repel, then the configuration will not be stable. But there is one last piece to the plan which is actually played by this little CD. Now if I keep the pencil like this without the CD you can see that it's moving forward right this is repelling this is attracting and it's moving forward. You need a force of reaction against this forward movement in order to keep the pencil stable. We call this usually the normal reaction force denoted by capital N. That force is being provided by the CD. And what is actually happening is when you actually do a theoretical analysis, you find that this particular N can be fixed in order to exactly balance the forward force which is pushing the pencil. So because of that, in the horizontal direction, the forces are perfectly balanced. What you also find is that in the vertical direction, you have the three, this forces, the three forces. One of them is vertically attracting the pencil towards this side, right? Because it is attraction. Here you have forces 
which are making the pencil go up so you have an upward force here a downward force here right you also have and this is interesting it comes up when we actually analyze this with the help of equations that you have this pencil touching this particular cd and there is a force of friction so we know that whenever there is a normal reaction you have mu times the normal reaction being the force of friction now if you put that force of friction into the picture then the vertical forces are of course the gravitational force is acting all those vertical forces are totally balanced you can also find that when you have these four forces you have friction you have attraction here you have repulsion and you have the gravitational force all those four come together to also provide a torque balance and the minute you have balanced torques you can also have the pencil being stable and rotating so this is a quick essence of what goes into this absolutely delightful configuration which is very useful pedagogically to explain so many concepts magnetic levitation force balance torque balance and stability